Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Weymouth After Dark, the talk show for Massachusetts and the world. You might notice down there that I am Frank, your host, and I'm the person who will be emceeing, steering. I will be the ringmaster of your Weymouth After Dark enjoyment this fine Weymouth evening. Now, Weymouth After Dark, as you know, was brought to you by The Truth. And we have spent some time thinking about a new motto for our television program. But so it, it was me who came up with it, I should point out. It was him. So I am pleased to announce the latest Weymouth After Dark motto. <clears throat> if we could have that graphic, please. Weymouth After Dark is... Weymouth After Dark is, is moral, moral, instructive, instructive and, and educational. educational. There it is. There moral, it is. there it is. Moral, instructive. It's like follow the bounce. And educational, ball. or as I like to call it for short, may. Moral, instructive, educational. It's Never mind. There you go. Weymouth after dark. Now, <clears throat> today, on this moral, instructional, and educational yes, night. broadcast evening, I am joined by Joe, the Emperor of Rome. Let's not forget that. Self-proclaimed Emperor, Emperor of Rome. Rome. So for the number one, and uh, he says that he is what is it? The 19th century. 19th century, but today. But today. Joe is yeah, the 19th century, but today. Um, Our graphics seem to be lost in some sort of time warp between the 19th century and now tonight. Uh, it, there it, 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 it is. They came by telegraph. There we go. They came by telegraph. They came by telegraph, slow. like McClellan's telegraph corps during the Peninsula Campaign during the 19th century. The 19th century. But today. but today. Now, I'm curious as to uh, what, what you mean by this. I, I've been giving some thought. I like to get sort of a hybrid between the 19th century and today, and no. also the classical era, and also the, you know, the sort of the era of the Sultan. Now, if I may say, if I may say, um, viewers at home, if you give it some thought and you think about it, the 19th century was a long time ago now. No longer, as we're all used to, maybe some of you write the wrong year on your checks. Yeah? Maybe some of you write the wrong year on your checks. Well, the 19th century is Some no people write the wrong millennium on their checks now. Yes. Yeah. The 19th century is no longer the last century. Yeah. It's no longer a century ago. But last thing, century well, I mean, was a century of, you know, but, but the Phantom Menace, 1999. The, last, from, the one thing we remember from the last century, though, there was a lot of nostalgia. Folks, yes. folks, do you remember the good old days when we didn't have to deal with nostalgia? Those are the good old days. But nowadays, there's going to be a new nostalgia. We've seen crazes for the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and all this. Now there's going to be a nostalgia craze for the 19th century. The 19th century, the era of the balloon ride. The balloon the ride. The telegraph. The, the rifle in the park, musket. Facial hair. The Civil War exactly. and slavery. There is a yearning for this time. There is. And the uh, Whig Party. Now, could you tell us a little bit more about this 19th century, but today? Uh, it's it's going to be the new trend. I'm telling you, it's uh, the big thing. The big oncoming thing, folks, is the 19th century retro craze. Seriously. Mm, you heard it here first. Yeah. The fashions, mm. the music, the empty chair back on the charts. Oh, yeah. These things could happen. Bird in the gilded cage. Oh, that's kind of turn of the 20th century. Sentimentality. Be prepared yeah. for it. I'm hungry. Yeah? yeah. Well, yeah. wait till we're... What, what is... What? Oh, you want, what's this? What is, what is, what is, this is my new idea. Yeah. This is Sir Edward Crissy's 15 Decisive Battles of the World Hamburger Meal. Part of the new 19th century nostalgia trend, and it's my idea, I should point out, folks. A hamburger meal based off Sir Edward Cressy's 15 Decisive Battles of the World, a big hit in the 19th century, and still one of the most popular works of military history today. That's right, folks. Get food in your mouth. I know I have four. That's right, folks. Sir Edward Cressy's 15 Decisive Battles of the World hamburger meal, featuring Cressy, what Cressy decided was the 15 Decisive Battles of the World. Uh, and they all, of course, come with a prize being hamburger prize. meals. A prize. So uh, in this series, we have just among the 15 battles, the Battle of Marathon Meal, featuring the Darius action figure, the uh, Battle of Gargamela action figure, featuring the Alexander the Great uh, action, uh, ha hamburger meal, I should say, featuring the Alexander the Great action Who's figure. 
and also I'll spit one out. <laughs> oh, is. Also, we have the Saratoga campaign action figure featuring the ever popular Burgoyne. Oh, action. that one is coveted. I've mm. seen it going on eBay for six, seven dollars. Yeah. This one here, this one here is actually the Battle of Hastings uh, hamburger meal, which usually comes with uh, both the William the Conqueror action figure and the Harold Arrow in the Eye action figure. But what is the prize in this one? Oh, it looks like the George Armstrong Custer action figure. Madness. But that, what? Custer wasn't in Cressy's 15 Decisive Battles of the World because it was written in the 1850s. What does this mean? If you pull the George Armstrong Custer action figure from your Cressy's 15 Decisive Battles of the World hamburger meal, you are eligible to win a prize. In fact, you will win a prize. Well, prize. My other new idea. Harriet Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom's Cabin, the video game. 19th century, but today, folks, people often forget. Harriet Beecher Stowe's 1852 Uncle Tom's Cabin was a big part of American popular culture, not just in the 19th century, not just before the Civil War, long after slavery was a moot point. Uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin was a big part of American popular culture all the way up until the 1930s. So I brought it back for today as a video game. Okay, and this is a great idea. It was an idea my me. I had this thing programmed for Williams After Dark video games. All right? The uh -huh. people are already copying me. You know, history repeats itself like Thucydides said, folks. History repeats itself because we're already seeing, just as there were anti-Uncle Tom pro-slavery novels, there's also the same thing, unfortunately, with video games. Here we see Aunt Phyllis's Cabin or Southern Life as it is the video game, okay? Oh, like America. Okay, look at this one. Little Eva, the Flower of the South video game, okay? I actually kind of like this game, even even though it is a girl's game, but I kind of like that one, I have to admit. Okay, and also, just as there is in the 19th century, people are ripping me off with more Uncle Tom melodramatic games, even. Look at this. Eliza's Ice Escape. People ripping Can me get off. A shot of Eli Eliza's, Eliza's Ice, Ice Escape. Escape, where you move Eliza and little Harry or whatever her baby's name is over the ice floor, being pursued by bloodhounds. Madness. Double Tom, featuring two Uncle Toms, two Simon Legrees. Okay? And last but most least, Topsy for Sega Genesis. Interesting. So, so as you can let see, me get this straight. If you happen mm -hmm. oh. to, to yank, <laughs> if you yank if you get a Custer action figure. out of your value meal, yeah, you got if you got General Custer, you get General Custer's action figure. Uh huh. You can get Uncle Tom's Cabin, the video game. The video game, as I like to say, that is moral, instructive, uh, educational, all at the same time. Yes. Can we see that? Moral, instructive, and educational. Moral, there, there it is. Go. Instructive. That is good. And educational. Mm -hmm. Up, up, down, down, A, B, A, B, select, start, mm. left, right. Get you 30 toms. So exactly. <laughs> and double tom, it gets you 60. Madness. Madness. Look out, Simon Legree. I love Simon Legree. Tom coming. <laughs> That's disrespectful. To our, <laughs> to our guests. What's to our hungry funny? guests at home, for you to be knocking on a hamburger well, anyway. <clears throat> But, <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway, we would like to uh, thank you, Joe, for, right. for um, bringing us this, uh, this, this great moral instructor in education. Moral instructor and educational piece that is the... Um, Press these 15 battles in the world hamburger meal, okay? And folks, I'll tell you this, all true women after dark fans, when they get the Battle of Tours, uh, meal, they change the results. And there you have it. And there you have it. Oh, it's not the I can get rid of that now. No, Joe, you can, um, yep. 